Evil is real. That's the theme of the Playing With Fire podcast. And on today's show, I want to recap a really interesting story. This is a mini episode of the Playing With Fire podcast. We actually have a full episode coming out this weekend. But I wanted to talk about something very briefly today that caught my eye. Really interesting story, Kat Von D. Now, before I even get into, if you don't know who Kat Von D is, she is really an interesting person, famous tattoo artist, um, a model. She had a famous tattoo shop. Uh, she was a reality TV star, uh, pretty well known. And, you know, we'll, we'll get into a little bit more of who she is. But typically, when I talk about stories, it's usually a warning or a discussion about how the occult has made its way into some sort of Hollywood show, into a movie, or it's being improperly handled in some way, right? That's what we talk a lot about here on the show. I mean, I've only done a few of these mini episodes, but I wanted to address this particular story because Kat Von D um, put out an Instagram post last week recognizing the, this spiritual battle that she essentially seems to believe that she is in. And she announced that she was tossing out books on witchcraft and tarot cards from her collection and moving from darkness to light. And so there's a lot to unpack here, but, but this goes back to this Instagram post. And I want to just read some of this to you. She started the post off by talking about changes in life. And she said, I don't know if any of you have been going through changes in your lives right now, but in the last few years, I've come to some pretty meaningful realizations, many of them revolving around the fact that I got a lot of things wrong in my past. She went on to say that she went through her entire library and threw out books that just don't align with who she is or who she wants to be. Now, she went on to talk about finding beauty in the macabre, that she's always found beauty in that sort of darkness, right? But at this point, she said, quote, I just had to ask myself, what is my relationship with this content? And the truth is, I just don't want to invite any of these things into our family's lives, even if it comes disguised in beautiful covers collecting dust on my shelves. She went on to say she's not trying to put other people down who may be into this stuff, you know, this magic, these magic books or tarot cards. Uh, but, but she said, you know, look, everyone's on their own journey and she loves everyone regardless of where they might be on their journey. But then she continued talking about her own experience and said, quote, it's never been more clear to me that there is a spiritual battle taking place and I want to surround myself and my family with love and light. Now, it's interesting because we have no idea what is going on in her life. Is she becoming a Christian? Is she in some way a Christian already? Uh, I know her parents purportedly had some roots in missionary work. They were missionaries, I believe. Uh, so there's a lot to, to really unpack there. But it's interesting because you don't often see people openly turning away from these sorts of things. What you see is in reality TV shows, they're seeing psychics all the time. You're seeing tarot cards everywhere. You can't walk into a bookstore without, you know, tripping over a Ouija board. So this stuff is really integrating into the culture in some really troubling ways. And yet you have somebody here who, you know, has really been kind of a poster child for the gothic sort of lifestyle uh, coming forward and saying, you know, not only did I get rid of these things, um, but, but I know there's a spiritual battle going on. And that to me was incredibly powerful. She also included a picture of her home library. And in addition to that home library, a picture of the things she got rid of, uh, books that were called The Witch's Way, A Treasury of Witchcraft, and a bunch of other titles. And then it looks like two or three sets of tarot cards that were in the mix. And so she's got a photo of these things. You can find all this over on her Instagram post. Again, this is a post from last week. But I wanted to highlight it in a mini episode here because she's got, you know, 8.4 million followers. So she's an influential person. And it's, again, the opposite of what we're usually doing, which is pointing out the negative, here we have somebody who it appears to be, at least based on this post, recognizing there is a spiritual realm and that these are maybe things that we shouldn't be messing around with. And by the way, that's not my opinion, right? I'm a journalist. I'm an author. I've looked a lot at this. I'm also a Christian. And if you read scripture, it's pretty clear. I mean, not just pretty clear, overtly clear that we need to be avoiding these sorts of things. Tarot cards, witchcraft, necromancy, psychics, the whole nine yards, trying to communicate with the dead. These are not things that we should be engaged in or doing or seeking. 
And it's really fascinating to be sort of watching culture devolve at such a rapid rate on the moral spectrum and yet seeing people moving more toward these spiritualist items and, and practices, right? You know, people are pushing God out of the way, but they still need to fill the spiritual void. And they're trying to fill that spiritual void with this stuff. And so I think we're going to see more of that happening. Uh, but I got to point this out again, because I think the fact that Kat Von D is taking this approach to it in her life it's really an outlier, and it's really important, and I, I think you know we need to pay attention to these things, look at them, and throw her some props. Again, don't know where she is on that journey. I did reach out to her, and I'd love to have her on the show. I'm sure that's a long shot at this point. She's probably getting a lot of people uh, reaching out to talk with her about it, but wanted to highlight it. Would love to hear your thoughts. Listen, if you're loving the show, please head over wherever you listen. If it's Apple, if it's Edify, this is an Edify podcast show. Um, head over and, and leave a review. It's always helpful. And of course, if you've got a rude review, don't leave it because that's just unhelpful to everybody. Um, but if you have a solid uh, review of the show and you're loving it, I uh, would love to hear that from you. So please post those reviews. Don't hesitate to reach out to me on social media. I'm hearing from people who are really enjoying the show. And again, this is just a little teaser mini episode. We are releasing a full episode this weekend. We're going to be having Jerib and Petra Knott on the show. They deal in deliverance ministry. And so we're going to be digging a little bit more into that. We've talked a little bit about it on the show, but the work they do, what critics would say about it, what they would say to critics, what is exorcism. We're going to go through all of that really unique perspective. And so make sure you tune in this weekend for that episode of Playing With Fire. I will see you then very soon for that. And again, stay tuned. Season three of the show will hit in the fall. We are still in season two right now. There's going to be a brief sort of gap between the seasons and we are going to jump right in in a really unique season for season three so i'm excited about that i'll be talking more about that in coming episodes of the show and we'll see you again this weekend <laughs>